Hey folks, I'm Sophie Glory, and welcome to part 104 of my playthrough as Mar Morris in Crusader Kings 2. So in the last part, we won a glorious victory against this guy here and his hordes. He had about 35,000 men all in. I sent them up here piecemeal and we managed to pretty much wipe them out. And made in the region of 1,600 gold and a peace settlement from them. Uh, so, quite pleased with that. Another hand uh, really struggled to find any sort of allies or help and realised I've done absolutely nothing about the religion. Uh, I suppose because I was going to, I planning to be Dracula, I wasn't thinking about being a religious character, so I did absolutely, I've done nothing in the College of Cardinals. Uh, so, probably. Um, yeah, we're making making good money. We're up at 40 now per month. So let's uh, add 100 into our campaign fund for now. Let's see if we can get a cardinal in there. And I also need to remember to go back, check out Saints. Next time I'm looking for a marriage. Uh, my lover is pregnant with my child. That's wonderful news. Okay. Um, what are we doing at the moment? We're trying to get a claim in Croatia. Looking to try and claim as much land from them as we can. My pond we're pondering over the guest list for the banquet. What banquet? Uh, I wondered if I should invite one of my friends. Yes, of course. I rushed around getting, trying to get everyone to work harder, not smarter, to get everything ready for the banquet when the guests started to arrive. I waited impatiently for Countess Etienne, Etiennette, but still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome and found its designated place at my table. Uh, great. Uh, that's, oh, so that's somebody from the Hermetic Order. Speaking of... Uh, did I write the Magnum Opus? I think I did. Um, I could perform a scrying. I don't know if that's that helpful. At this point in time, we'll keep that for later. The dark stain of heresy has infected everyone around me. Lucifer is winning the war for humanity's souls. No one is pure except me. I gain a lunatic. Fantastic. Uh, Ab Abouge is doing very well. Prospers in here. Whatever. This duchess viciously, viciously slandering me. Okay, stay out of factions. Excellent. My vassals are all liking me quite a bit, apart from you. It's your problem. Succession law change. I didn't change any law. Or, no I didn't. I didn't think I did. Uh, but you're ambitious, you don't like the fact I'm a lunatic, or cruel, or stubborn. You want Bulgaria, well that's hard luck. Collector titles held. Ah, Transylvania. Uh, ah, I'd forgotten about that, I created that duchy. So we need to give that away. Uh, okay. My brother, Duke Vlad, you already have Turov and Sirmia. Hmm. I don't want you to have another duchy. Would you hold 
You've already got two duchies as well. Okay, but you're not actually looking for that, are you? No, you're not. Um, what do I want to do? I want to probably give it away to somebody in my realm of... Uh, well, that can be any age, but my dynasty... There we go. So preferably somebody who doesn't have a holding at the moment. My grandson is an option. Hmm. Let's just give it to the grandson then. I need to give him a county and I don't have something to give away I need to revoke a title first so 54 Targo Vista Yeah, we're going to go ahead. Sorry, brother. Uh, Turk of East. If I was opinion, we'd go down, but to be honest, I'm not too bothered about that. So we're going to go ahead. That gives you deeply, but you've succumbed to my will. I now find my grandson give it to him there you go, it's going to your great nephew you should be happy about that and you become the Duke of Montenia ah Okay, um, just a courtier, learn on your own. I lost an advisor because they're now underneath my grandson. Where did the loyalists go? Where are you, malcontent? Hmm. You want the kingdom, your ambitious elector titles held. I don't. I, what elector titles do I hold now? I'm not giving away a kingdom. Kingdom of Magyar, I suppose it's an honorary title or a titular kingdom. What happens if I give it to my son? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do that. It's going to get it anyway. And if we come back on here, you're still malcontent. Elector titles held. Well, that's just tough luck then. Everybody's going to have to live with that. My faithful and trusted hunting dog has finally taken his last breath. Long has he served me since first I received him as a puppy. But now it's time to bury an old friend. I, I can't afford the pyramid, unfortunately. I just bury him quietly in the garden. That's what he would have wanted. Okay, this courtier has become a brilliant strategist. 
experimentality. Do not like. Excellent. Um, and she will suffer in life. Uh, I have lost wrath. Okay. Um, that's a bit late in life, maybe, to switch from the Hermetic Order. I have a daughter. Okay, focus on etiquette. And... Legitimize her, she could be useful. In fact, she could be very useful. Um, you are despot of Serbia. Fine, you do that. Let's try this again. Yes. No. Unlucky. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's fine. Let's get that set up. Um, in your fight, Theodora's apprenticeship has reached its end. She knows enough of alchemy, astrology and theurgy to be acknowledged as a hermetic scholar in her own rights. As a parting gift, I gave her a tome containing a few of my most well-guarded secrets. I did not pretend to notice the tears in her eyes, but they touched me deeply. Plus two learning for Theodora. And... You're not even a married person. Do you want to get married? You're not particularly bothered. You can do it on your own, I suppose. You often do that. Uh, decided to accept your suggestion. Fantastic. I've noticed that King Vlad the Twelfth and Duke Vlad the Tenth are not in the best of terms. I invite them both to spend some quality time. I'm to send me to another county. The nitwits and manmers have already cost me one limb. I... Mangled. King Vlad III the Twelfth. Um, my son, damn it! What is he? He's supposed to be researching military tech. Peasants shouldn't be anywhere near him. I'm annoyed at that. Uh, where are our advisors? You, you're losing your advisor slot. Fire you. Bang. Uh, change council position. He, I, have, I had something else in mind. My advisor. Uh, good, they like each other now. So... Oh, you need to accept that, don't you? Come on. Change council position. Do it. I have something else in mind. You should be my advisor. Uh, wonderful idea, whatever that was. I'm sitting on the floor of my bedchamber wearing one of my shoes as a hat when suddenly a man-sized gopher enters the room. It is dressed as a maid and when you shout an alarm the rodent squeaks and skitters away in panic. You chase it down the hall, but find only a terrified maid cowering on the floor. So this isn't happening, is it? Ah. We can usurp this title. How did this come about? I do not know, but I'm happy with it. Was that my son? Well done. Uh, Kingdom of Magyar. Cannot usurp a title for anyone in the same realm. This one, right. It'll cost us a hundred gold, which we can easily afford. So there we go, we do that. 
Open council position. Yeah, I know. I want this guy. It doesn't matter, I suppose, that he's a loyalist. <sighs> he will get better. Plus two Marshall from that going away. So he'll go back up. But it's not going to be enough. Try one more time. Something else in mind. Be my advisor. And you are just a courtier. I have a good friend in Count Rangvald, and it saddens me, my heart. He thinks we no longer have anything in common. I will miss you. That's fine. Uh, you'll suffer in life. No, no, so. I need to appoint a new marshal. Look at all these guys. And the question now is that I want to put one of them in and have them mangled. How about you? I suppose if I'm going down that route, I could put Valdemar in. Um, I don't want to risk those guys getting maimed. So, 19, 17, let's, well he's 65, let's stick him in for now. Back here and find my boy. Does he still like me? He's not here. Okay, uh, point counsellor's not possible. Well, because uh, it's not an honorary title. Well, that's unfortunate then. News from China. Rumours of the military might of the Yin Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like brief negotiations, Kagan Behor II of Bilchur has peacefully agreed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. Their courtiers whispered that they can only hope that the relationship between the Kagan and the Heavenly Emperor be a fruitful one. So be it, cousin. Um, yeah, so you. A point commander. Let's do that. Just to make you like me a bit better. And don't have any other titles to grant him. So we just need to go for Yeah. Get a couple of loyalists on there at least. And you research military tech. Once again, okay. The soup kitchen in Marmaris burned down quite recently in an accident. Without it, many of the poor might starve. I will pay for the repairs. It's only 114 gold, it's not a problem. I'm not going to hold a grand debate right now to see what we can do here. Uh, castle walls will go up, f um, but we don't need the income desperately, so we'll go for the levy size and the garrison size, but then that doesn't do anything for our... doesn't do anything for our fort level, but doesn't matter, we'll go for that first. Okay. My wife just asked me if I'm having an affair with Sirma. 
Her stony expression does not reveal whether she knows or is only guessing. Yeah, let's make her feel guilty. What business is it of yours? Where are these raiders? There. Well, deal with them, son. That's what you're there for. Aha. What is this? Okay, so, um, yeah, he's part of the family and all. You died of your injuries the peasants gave you. Why did you not have your boy as your heir? Still, never mind. Um... So we're keeping it in the family, I suppose. Uh, that's excellent. He's Midas touched. It's not that great, but whatever. And now, the Kingdom of Bulgaria. Uh, hang on. Kingdom of Bulgaria. Okay, so you're... Yeah, you're fine. You're a member of my dynasty. Duke of Carvona and Duke of Pex. So that's all part of Carpathia. Uh... And there is only that one. Oh, it nominates successors. That's not what I was looking at. This. Take a look at Kingdom of Bulgaria. Duke Valerio. But he's, he's my nephew anyway, so. He should be fine. I suppose. Yeah, I've given away the give away this king's kingdom king title. I didn't realise it was going to disappear from the empire. Still, might use up it back or something. We're going to nominate successor, and it's going to be my grandson. He's also going to get on the title of Cupbearer. And I can't appoint a commander until he's a bit older. So that's fine there. We're also going to nominate him as a successor here and here. Be damned to the rest of you. Try to spend some time with my daughter. Let's see if we can get you married. Not to a member of an Irish revolt. How about this guy? He's at least an adult. Maybe a bit young for you. Him? Okay, that's fine. Go and be happy. Okay. A blessed has passed. Blessed be his name. Um, so, let's check this out. If we... Go up here... Um, I've already forgotten who it was. Is it this guy? King of England! Uh, 
Um, Christian opinion plus five. Hmm. I was just thinking maybe I should get divorced and marry the Queen of England. Well, I guess not. Anybody else in this bloodline? Any geniuses in this bloodline? Why don't we look? Princess of Wales. Arrange marriage. I don't have anybody. Damn it. Uh, arrange betrothal. No. Okay. We might have a look through that at some point and see if we can't get some saintly bloodlines into our dynasty. My liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. Okay, obligate or threaten. Charitable, you're paranoid. Deceitful and shy. Threaten. Okay. Paranoid and shy. I'll try that. You are forgiven, of course. Okay. Well, I think it's time to put in a break. Just wondering what's going on in my realm here. Don't you have two of? What are you up to, brother? There's my brother, yep. Defending against the Duke of Carvuna. Hmm, okay. Should I enforce realm peace? Why not? I've not I don't think I've enforced realm peace at all in this playthrough so far. There. Stop fighting. Another blessed has passed. Emmerich of Hevis, my kinsman. Okay, well, let's check that out before we go. Uh, Saints. He's not in here. Oh well. Never mind. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put in a break. When we come back next time, I guess we're going to have to look for more targets for expansion. I just realised. Oh no, that's. Yeah, so I can't go to war. Holy War from Moldavia. Here. But that's only for Moldavia. Um, well, I suppose it's better than nothing, but if I'm going to go to war, I would want to try and get more from it. Check this guy first. Yeah, they only get 2,000 troops available from his vassals. This is the time to strike. Declare war. Where is this place? Now. The holy war. And then I can call in the Catholics and let them go and fight them while I sit on the war goal. I could stop. I'm making my tributary state. <laughs> hmm.
There is a challenge. I think that's what we're going to do. I've only got 468 gold. But... We're full levies. I think Italy would join us. Hmm. If only you weren't in a war already. Declare war. Establish tributary state. Nobody would come in to help them. Ramadan revolt. Fifty one per cent in favour of the revolt here, twenty five per cent in favour of the uprising. I don't want to end up embroiled in a war if this one finishes. But making them a tri tributary state would be fantastic. Mm. Yeah, I think we might do that, but I'm going to put in a break just now. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.